Let's style the sweater weather collection in three minutes. I'm Mandy, I've got my sweater, and this is not a real cabin. First up, we're talking towels because the sweater weather styling towel trio, that is such a mouthful, is also coming out this Friday with the rest of the collection. This right here is the mustard towel. What we did is billowed it and put it in the front corner. When you shoot with the DSLR camera, it stays out of focus like this and looks really great. Mm, this towel is so cozy. <laughs> My favorite part about this photo is how we matched it to not only the product, but also this surface, butterscotch knit. Same technique, but now we're using the brick towel because we matched it to our product. Again, this is butterscotch knit, and here it is paired with stone tile, both coming on Friday. Also, you don't need a DSLR to get this effect. You can also get it by using the Lightroom mobile apps camera. If you haven't used it before, give it a shot. It's a fantastic app. For something even cozier, you can billow one in each of the front corners. I love this look. And this, this is Denscape. We'll talk about it in a sec. Here's the same two towel effect. I really like it for filling out the foreground when you have a smaller subject like these. Here's a towel trick for flat lays. Just billow it underneath your subject like this. It adds color, texture, and it frames your subject to draw all eyes right toward it. This is the cashmere surface, by the way. It looks just like a sweater. It's ridiculous. Here's the exact same technique, except we used the clay styling towel, butterscotch knit surface, and no props there are no props behind my head. Speaking of butterscotch knit, how good does it look as an upright surface? Notice the subtle texture moves horizontally because of how we placed it. Just flip your surface and you'll flip the orientation. Now the lines run vertically. Also, how amazing is this with gloss black? And back to flat lay for a sec. I am calling this the half frame styling technique. Basically, you lay props to create half of a frame around your subject. Not a full circle, not a full square, half of one. How good does this look? And we're dropping in on another gorgeous half frame, this time with branches. It's okay if it covers more than half. This is probably two thirds because it's a triangle. It's okay. It's still a half frame and it still looks amazing. Yes, this collection is perfect for cold weather styling, but I also designed it to make sure you could use it year round too. To do that, I absolutely love pairing cashmere with butterscotch knit. This is really a seasonless photo. And here they are swapped. Just Give me one second. There we go. No more pumpkin, seasonless photo. First, here it is with butterscotch knit. See how it perfectly matches both the flames of the fire and the illuminated part of the mantle? Now, natural walnut. This is part of our core collection that's available year round, so you may already have it. It matches the non-illuminated part of the mantle and the wood beams in the ceiling. How good is that? How about stone tile? Now we're matching the darker stones in the fireplace as well as the poker set in the corner and we're also matching the wood of the chairs. If you're a wood fan, you get a really similar effect with the weathered wood surface, again, matching the darker stones, the wood of the chair, and the poker set in the corner. Now, this is one of my favorite pairings for Denscape. This is cashmere. See how it matches the lighter colored stones as well as the upholstery of the chair and it just gives so much sweatery texture. One thing to note is that I show you this entire photo uncropped so that you can see just how well it matches the elements in the room. If you were selling a product that was on the smaller side like this candle, you'd probably want to crop in like this. I'll leave it up so you can take in the crop. And of course, Denscape wasn't the only thing I coordinated. I also wanted to make sure that worn bronze would also pair really well with both cool toned and warm toned surfaces and props. So you can see that butterscotch knit here, it actually pulls out the warm tones in worn bronze and looks amazing. Compare that to stone tile. Now we're pulling out the darker colors. And because dark photography is one of the hallmarks of sweater weather, I have to show you all of these paired with slate. This right here, worn bronze. And with stone tile. So see how slate is so very dark? You don't see much texture there. The way that you get this is one, through flagging. It's a technique that I have a YouTube video all about. You can go check that out. Also, editing in Lightroom is going to be key when you use any dark backdrops upright like this. What you do is you either move the blacks sliders to the left to darken everything up, or you can also use the tone curve and pull downward on the part of the curve that's called darks. 
try them both the next time you're editing and let me know what you think. And that's my thought process behind Denscape and the entire Sweater Weather collection. It all drops this Friday. There's details in the comments and uh, I can't wait for you guys to start pairing and show me what ones you come up with.